that more than anything is the guiding principle I think that I, I, I try to have in mind when I'm writing a piece of music. It's like what what is the emotional story here and how do I immerse myself in that and how do I be true, most true to that emotion and how do I be the most honest and the most candid and put aside all of those well-intentioned shoulds and shouldn'ts that I learned in, in graduate school. Um, I try to think about mood and um, emotion more than style or all of that because I think that all of that stuff separates you from um, from what is what is really a true emotion that you're feeling I think all of that can be very emotionally crippling actually and can really strangle you creatively um, it certainly did for me anyway like I didn't write any music my first six months at Yale because I was so worried about not breaking any rule that was that was in one of my teacher's minds. Now I'm smelling the night air Crunching gravel as I walk Walk, walk Never, 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 never will I Never will I sleep like a lot of the craft that I was taught and if I get stuck that really helps a lot you know there's a lot of you know Steve and I often joke it's like okay well if you're stuck did you go through the inversion did you go through the retrograde inversion did you try you know these tools that you wouldn't think would be associated with the kind of musics that we write but sometimes can be very helpful and all of those things are part of the toolbox which which help you see um, what your clay looks like, the shape of it and the feel of it and the texture and the look and all of that. So um, so I spend a lot of time doing that, trying to like intellectually massage my material, but it always comes, I think, from a more emotional place initially. thinking about writing for, for me, def definitely winds up influencing the music. And if I'm thinking about a classical institution and the, you know, their values and their history, that's going to just in inevitably bring out something different in me than, than um, a piece written for my good friends who love all the same bands that I do and, and the same classical composers that I do and who understand that love of both worlds and um, I mean unremembered I feel like I could go even deeper into that because Shara had become like my closest friend and um, we'd had so many conversations about these issues and the, the classical versus pop music and all the frustrations we had dealing with you know the the lack of infrastructure to support music written in the in the cracks between those worlds um, and because she also 
just so comfortably can inhabit both worlds, um, which is something that so few singers can do. So I just felt like, yeah, I can really let it rip here. Like I can just compose, like close my eyes, be in the dark room, summon the most me that always felt a little bit repressed and just let it say whatever the hell it wants to.